The definition of marriage will be debated in our nation's highest court tomorrow with Michigan's ban on gay marriage at the center of the case. Many of those against gay marriage cite their faith as the reason. And here to talk about faith and marriage is Father Robert Sirico, priest of Sacred Heart of Jesus Catholic Church in Grand Rapids. Father, thank you for joining us. Good we to be with you. It. Thank you. Have you been following the case? Well, yes. <laughs> for 40 years, I've been following yeah. the case. So tell yeah. me your thoughts on it then. Well, I think it's a problem of definition. And what we're battling about is whether we can change politically uh, or legally a definition that is really pre-political. That is, marriage has always been understood throughout history as one man and one woman uh, an institution for the sake of raising children that come from that union generally. And uh, I think by changing this definition, we need to pause and think about the consequences, not just about the, the uh, emotional circumstances of people who are alive right now, but what happens in a trajectory, a historical trajectory, when we say, well, what about people who are living in arrangements with three people or four people? What do we, ta uh, what do we say about uh, polyamory, which is loving everything or everyone? Uh, if this decision, uh, broadens the definition in such a way that it collapses the very institution of marriage, what are the consequences for civilization? That's really the question. Mm -hmm. So it's the consequences you're looking down the road saying, what yeah. does this mean past this decision? Yes, and, and I'm, I'm looking both ways. What does it mean past this decision, but I'm also looking at human nature. In the Catholic Church, we believe that the, the, the foundation of social justice is the dignity of the human person. That includes also people who are, are same-sex attracted. So this is not a question. The tension for us is that while the dignity of a same-sex attracted person is secured in our, our moral teaching, uh, so is the definition of marriage, and we can't let go of either of them. So we have to live in a, in a kind of creative tension where we uh, say to people, which perhaps the church hasn't and society hasn't said clearly before, that we believe in your dignity, we believe in your worth. Uh, but on the other hand, we can't change the definition of marriage any more than we can change the definition of your dignity. Is that how you teach that in the church as well? To we, we certainly do. It's in the catechism, and I, I hope that my parish, which is a relatively traditional parish, would exhibit that kind of love and uh, respect for people. Uh, you know, we've gotten to the point in society where everything has to be settled by legislation and, and litigation, and I, I don't think there's as much news coverage of this issue, mm -hmm. it's rare to see people really disagree uh, in a reasonable and a charitable way and allow ourselves to have the disagreement and, and live with the tension of that disagreement. Father Robert Sirico from Sacred Heart of Jesus Catholic Church in Grand Rapids, thank you for your thoughts on thank this you. subject. We'll continue to follow it, of course.